The stock and station agent perched on the cattle rail. I'm proud to offer up for you this property for sale. It's been owned by just one family for a hundred years. That's when I saw the first time my dad reduced to tears. After seven years of drought, the bank spoiled us to our knees. With not a chance of income, interest rates and bloody fees, we were forced to sell our land to us faithfully entrusted by these faceless men in business suits and interest rates adjusted. Friends and neighbours gathered wistfully as the auction proceeded. Walk in, walk out was the call. We prayed reserve would be exceeded. The bidders in our properties what really hurt my dad. Foreigners had sent their reps and that got him hopping mad. See, when a family owns a station it's more than just a living. Our whole country is much better off. There's less taking and more giving. But a foreign owned concern will from our country rob. They'll put in place a manager into him. It's just a job. They will never know the pleasure of watching their crops grow or the excitement of the cattle sale when good prices are the go or mustering the sheep when they're shearing to be done and doing all of this with your daughter or your son. They will never see a wombat or a joey kangaroo or hear the mournful cry of the black cockatoo. They could but imagine sunsets through an ancient river tree. How good they from their ivory towers far across the sea. I will have to move to town, but truly that's not me. I'll have to try and get a job on another property. My kids won't live the life I did or share this heritage and all because of me and drought and the rising bank mortgage. Dad tapped me on the shoulder as the auction ran its course. For the last time we would check our stock and saddle up a horse. Silently we rode off down the paddock out of sight and together finally beaten we would ponder on our plight. The, the auctioneer came down to mum and asked, why did they leave? She told him, they needed their privacy to grieve. They've worked so hard all their lives and now we've lost it all. How in God's name could they bear to hear the hammer fall? <laughs>